Hello there. We have been talking about cinema, how it has evolved and what stages the industry called Indian cinema has gone through. We have talked about different eras. We have talked about uh, how cinema started, how, you know, uh, we, we witnessed the golden age of Indian cinema, then the dark age, so-called 1980s, then how it rejuvenated itself in 1990s, uh, how corporatization and globalization affected and changed the very nature of our cinema and then how gradually we were moving to small town stories. Now, during the lecture, if you remember, I was talking about lackluster content and we have also been talking about stories and we will talk about other important components like there is a way of saying that uh, our stories are not good but I had an argument which I presented and now let's talk cinema basically uses stories and these stories are fundamental to the development of any culture. They are being told, lived, created every single day by every one of us. You know, we make stories for entertainment and other purposes. Now, I ha I, if you remember that there is a very genuine basic question, what is a story? Now, you will find many definitions that a story has a got three-act structure. I'll, I'll also talk about it, which is given by Aristotle the Great. Now, a story is a succession of events that invigorates the climax and it initiates the immutable change. Now, what does it mean? Succession of events that invigorates the climax and it initiates the immutable change. Now, if you if you have seen if you if you remember i i mean there are a lot of examples that i give from my uh, learning of my age uh, if you remember if if you have seen that film wo jo photo jisme kheecha karte the wo jo reel hua karti thi theek hai usme ek frame ke baad dusra frame hua karta tha theek hai so basically a story is also like that it has got one event after that it has got another event after that it has got another event it has got another event now there it like if you follow this the example that i have said that you f you keep you keep one event second event third event fourth event fifth event chances are that uh, they may not be attached with each other but if you are saying a story they should be attached with each other and they should logically lead or they should logically move you forward towards a climax climax which has got some meaning Okay, uh, whether you have it uh, close-ended or op open-ended, that is absolutely your choice. But there has to be, uh, you know, I'm not saying that it, it need to be a fable. No, I'm not saying that, but it there has to be a logical progression from point A to point B, C, Z or whatever you are deciding that this is how long your story need to be. So there has to be a progression. There has to be a sort of a, of, of a engaged development. There has to be an engaged development and this engaged development need to reach to a certain point which need to be very different from where you started. Now, why it is important that it need to be very important that it should be different from where you started? There is a common sense. If you are reaching, like from my, from, from my university, I have come to this studio. So, there is a point A and I have reached point B. And this point A and point B need to be different. Otherwise, how would you call it a journey? You know, so journey, so, so story has got a journey also. So from point A, you need to reach to point B. And maybe from after finishing the lecture, I may go home. So that is point C. So if point A, my university, and is this studio is point B. So maybe this is the first part of the story. And from here, when I reach home, my home, that becomes the second part of the story. So, part one, part two. So, this is how, you know, they need to have a continuous and logical order of progression. Now, this is what exactly I am talking about, how images are formed in uh, on, on, on film and when you play them, 
it's it's basically that only that it's a logical progression of images and it's a logical progression of events where one is leading to another and when where there is a you know there there is a sink there is a belonging from one to another and it should initiate the immutable change like now what does it mean that it should initiate the immutable change uh I have read lot of definitions, and this is what I have come up at my own that the story is a succession of uh, that a story is a succession of events. Then it invigorates the climax, and it initiates the immutable change. Now, uh, like immutable change is also required. So when I started my journey from my university, and as I have reached studio, am I the same person who left? and has reached here or in between have i learned something have i observed something have i uh, am i in the same state of being you know all those philosophical uh, questions very interesting sometimes i really find them oh yes we are same but obviously state wise we are very very different so have we learned something in between like i i found a very interesting um, roadside um, uh, places where a uh, lo- lot of beautiful pots were being sold so i was thinking you know so so th- at least that one change is there when i i am coming from there and i also had this thing in my mind that i have to reach on time have i reached on time yes is there a sense of achievement yes so there are a lot of in- internal changes also happening when i am reach starting from point a and reaching point b now when i reach from point b to point c that will be a different journey maybe uh b- some traffic officer stops me and says okay show me your uh, driving license or show me your pollution card so that can also be a uh, 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 incident now all these things these immu- not mutable immutable change that i cannot be are you the same as you were yesterday if you are not there is a immutable change taken place so when you are talking about a story a story is basically from point a to point b it is beautifully conveyed like i uh, i was the other day i was watch, watching this kill bill there was a very interesting scene where these two people are talking about hamburger and they like if i say it in, in context hum log alu chaat ke bare mein baat karte hain aur alu chaat ke bare mein jab hum log baat karte hain to that need to be so interesting that nobody has talked about like that before you know then it becomes a very interesting conversation and the secret of a good story is when you are having interesting conversation and you lead that in- interesting conversation to interesting event that is where you are clicking with audience like i can give you an example but that is a long example in some of the uh, videos i'll will talk about it that how you can write an interesting conversation if they were talking about hamburger let's talk about alu tikki uh, here and let's write something very interesting that that nobody has talked about uh, uh, alu tikki before that and from this conversation can we go to a interesting event i, I mean the next scene i mean ne- interesting event means the next scene can we do that in uh, while sitting here uh, and we we do an experiment i hope that one day we'll be doing that now uh, stories are like if you are understanding that stories are only that when you write it on a piece of paper only then the story starts no story means way more than uh, w- you know words and images it can be body language also it performances music and any other you know uh, type of communication that can be used in telling a story the event describe the story it you know it can be real it can be fictional uh, the short st- i mean the story can be short story can be long story can be very short story can be very long it can be novel as i you look again i was saying that when you say it's a good story then why it is not in novel or novella form you know so all this thing, um 
you know what is unique about cinema stories they can be they you know you you can deliver that the entire story in one line also it depends it all depends on your imagination how you are planning like suppose if let's uh, let's do an, an interesting exercise right now uh, uh, there are there is a boy and a girl uh, you give them name they fall in love with each other and they marry one line finish you can again develop this line and you can have the same story in 10 lines you develop the those 10 lines and now you can have in 10 pages you develop those 10 10 pages the same one line you know boy and girl they meet each other they you know fall in love they marry in the end and then you develop those 10 pages you can also translate those 10 pages into 120 pages which is basically a standard length of a screenplay uh, document how do you want to do it is purely your imagination you want to do it through dialogues you can you want to do it through uh, you want to do it without dialogues there are so many beautiful films without dialogues i i have one i forgot i'm not remembering the barber i think it's it 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 was a short film oscar it it was about a a person who who buys a gift for his wife and his wife is waiting he's stuck in uh, in um, traffic jam and there are a lot of other things also going on simultaneously and when he reaches home the <laughs> wife is done with uh, her her dinner and uh, you know even he is so tired that he is not in a mood to wake up his wife and a lot of other things are also happening uh, it's it's a beautiful film i mean th- sometimes there is no need to talk i mean uh, i mean there are uh, in- there are very uh, interesting incidents on uh, our life where it is better if we keep sh- uh, our mouth shut and we don't talk so it's it's a- anything any story in the world is pure imagination be that you, you know if events in fiction can be real it can be fictional it can be completely made up fairy tales folklore science fiction love stories mythology horror horror bedtime stories historical fiction fantasy legend epic drama adventure you think of anything you know there are just you know i what i've just said there are just few possibilities there are just few genres now uh as i was saying if you remember that uh, um let's talk about what is uh, i have just said about what is a story let's talk about plot you know while there is much more going on in a narrative than just relaying a story i was saying now uh, you know one incident second third fourth there is a connectivity so so uh, it is you know more going on in narrative than just relaying a story in cinematic narratives meaning is established through the development of plot okay now we till now we were talking about story now we are talking about plot also when analy- when analyzing or making a film it is fine to begin with the big picture but the plot needs to mo- move in in exorbitant in exorbitantly you know forward from here now uh because the plot is all about what happens after what happens you know so something happens and because something has happened so something else will also happen now em foster if you uh, uh, he said one very uh, interesting thing about let me give you a very very basic example and i can sure i can assure you that if you follow this example you will never you know confuse between story and plot okay bachpan mein sabne ek kahani suni hai ki ek tha raja ek thi rani dono mar gaye khatam kahani okay this is what you, you know when my dadi wanted to tell me a story and she was not in a mood so you know she used to start very excitingly and talk about ek tha raja ek thi rani and we were like ha 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 then she used to say dono mar gaye khatam kahani ab jao ja ke so jao you know something like this and em foster actually has translated this thing ek tha raja ek thi rani dono mar gaye khatam kahani and he says the king died and then the queen died is a story this is what em foster is saying 
that is what I say that we do not understand our own basic and you know because E.M. Foster when I read it for the first time I was beating my head against the wall that this is what E.M. Foster has said now what he says next can be very interesting that is where I can you know understand that that is what is interesting now he says that if the king ha- if the king has died and the queen dies out of grief for the king that is plot okay when you provide reason you know that is i when i started learning about these things you know things were not so simply explained you have one story okay this is what happens but how it will happen is plot you know it is if something happens then what next happens and how logically beautifully emotionally cinematically argumentatively you connect one with other makes the plot interesting and it is the plot not the story which is required in cinema okay you have story it can be same but the plot makes it different you know if if people are saying that we need good stories no stories will remain more or less same all the action film will have some basic things can uh, you know coming out of the that genre horror will have lot of similar things coming out of the genre so it's not only the story story plays an important role yes there is no doubt about it it's the plot in story so if it is this body if this body is called story the soul is called plot and there is no existence of this story if plot is not there so th- that's how th- that is this is how they are this is how they are connected you know and interestingly if the writer or the director through visual does not establish it audience does it itself now the plot the story's plot is a sequence of its event that is a sequence of things that takes place in a narrative now i really want to make you understand plot okay i can give you a lot of examples but i have picked up a very subtle example and that is where i have mentioned the resource also and uh, stating that uh, this is and uh, this this is just for an academic purpose and i have mentioned the uh, source also now if you have seen very good if you have not seen watch the film that i am talking about it will help you understand plot in a very interesting manner okay keep this video on one side watch that film on other side when you are done watching come back watch what i am going to say now onwards and you will have a great understanding of the particular film that i am going to talk about it's a film called gladiator which was released in 2000 okay now whatever i am going to talk about i have provided a source for that also because it is very maybe some of you are understanding plot in this way for the first time so i really need to put myself on track and that is where i have taken this and mentioned the source now if you have seen gladiator there is a i am telling you what happened in the film what happens and after that what happens what leads to what that is what i said is all about plot now if you see that film you know i request that those who have seen will understand it now and those who have not go back watch this film understand that film come back and start video from here and onwards so you will understand plot like never before i can assure you about that now there are few characters in uh, in the film uh, one is called uh, 
Aurelius who is the king he has got a journal called Maximus his his very you know right hand man sort of a person then he has got his son Commodus he has got his um, um, uh, daughter also and uh, uh, this uh, Maximus who is the character is played by Russell uh, uh, Russell Crowe yes uh, so he is a journal in the army it's a it's a Roman Empire time so uh, Aurelius is the king of Rome Maximus is the journal of uh, in of he is the journal of Aurelius army which is Rome Roman time and the film opens there is a battle which is going on beautiful and then they win it you know and uh, Aurelius says to Maximus that uh, Maximus I want you to be the next king he has a son but he is slightly twisted so he says Aurelius the king says to his son that Maximus I want you to be the king next king an interesting fact is that Maximus does not want to be a king he is like happy being a journal he is happy you know uh, being loyal to his king he is happy that he is doing his job fantastic his wife is 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 in in the kingdom only somewhere he wants to go and meet that he has a son also and he doesn't want to get into the skinship and all these things you know lord protector of rome you know that that is the title in in the film they are not called king they are called the lord protector of rome so aurelius says that i am dying my son is slightly crackpot you become the king you know so this is this is how the story starts then uh, you know he wants to return home you know but now maximus is presented with a choice now this is what it will exactly happen when you will start writing your own stories that you really have to you know uh, you really have to put your character in a situation uh, where you know what he himself or herself want and what he or she ought to do or should do you know so maximus in the first act 1 I'll I'll talk about Act One, Act Two, Act Three, which is a classic format of of story. Okay, so in Act One, almost you know this is almost the mid of Act One. So uh, you he is like he is presented with two options. He leaves like if King is saying that you lead, it means he has seen something in 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 Maximus which his son does not have. so he wants his 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 empire to go in right hand so if the king has put so much of trust in maximus so now what maximus should do whether he should stay in the kingdom and protect it or should he be selfish enough to leave let it go to pieces i don't care kind of an attitude and go back and meet his family what should he do now so there is a you know he is presented you know whether he likes it or not but he is presented with a conflict a personal it's an internal conflict first it is not external now first plot point comes theek hai uh, the son commodus murders his father the king aurelius and when he learns uh that his father wants maximus to the king okay he goes to maximus and says you join hand with me i will spare your life i will spare your family life he says no i am loyal to your father i am not loyal to you what he does he kills the son he gets he he captures him he kills his wife and child and you know though he plots to kill him but somehow he escapes but he is being you know captured by someone else and now he is a slave himself the journal of a roman empire is becoming slave so do you do you see this that how from that that his position is this he is going to be the king 
and by the time act finishes he is technically a slave and this is happening exactly in half an hour so it is a complete story in itself and we are just talking about plot point 1 i mean there is a midpoint also if there is first point midpoint then last point there are a lot of things but you think that it's a complete story and if you can reverse it there is a slave there is a slave and he becomes the king django you know there are a lot of examples so it just how 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 do you want to do it what is your range what is the spectrum you know how do you want to see it how do you want to say it you know it is all about how you see it and how you say it so we are just talking about the first plot where he 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 has the potential to become a king but by the time act finishes he is a slave which later on will transform in a gladiator and that is the title of the film so this is what one point is now there is something called pinch point also now now if the general who has become a a, a a slave now who is basically fighting uh, as a gladiator though he does not like it and and he stumbles through the first half of the second act empathetic to life even though he is disgusted by the blood he is forced to spill for the sake of entertainment he goes through a period in which he struggles to find the strength and conviction to fight for his truth now this is very important i always say this thing in my class uh, when i i am teaching my students to uh, develop their writing skills that people all and that's the problem like like you may talk about a uh, lot of uh, uh, you know um, south indian films are in trend right now everybody is t- talking very high but their motivation most of the time is external whereas if you see kantara or malayalam lot of malayalam films their motivation is first internal once they are convinced then that internal motivation takes an external form you know it never happens in real, real life you kick someone and he or she is bouncing like an uh, you know football now that is just you know it was just an example it should not be taken in some other other sense so i have we have just talk about part you, you know if there are three acts act 1 act 2 act 3 so we have just talked about act 1 that how it started from here and it finished here now for the second act 2 this point which was the below point for the act 1 is actually the high point so there will be a graph and we will see that graph happening right here in these lectures thank you very much